ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಪದಾಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪೃಷ್ಠಾಯ ಭೂತಲೆ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ ಭಕ್ತಿ ವೇದಾಂತ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ನೀತಿ ನಾಮಿನೇ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಸಾರಸ್ವಾತಿ ದೇವೇ ಗೌರವಾನಿ ಪ್ರಚಾರಿಣೆ ನಿರ್ವಿಶೇಷ ಶೂನ್ಯವಾದಿ ಪ್ರಸಾದೇ ಶ್ರೀ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾನ ಶ್ರೀವಾಸತಿ ಗೌರವೃಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಓಂ ನಮೋ ಭಗವತಿ ವಾಸುದೇವಾಯ ಓಂ ನಮೋ ಭಗವತಿ ವಾಸುದೇವಾಯ ಭಗವತಿ ವಾಸುದೇವಾಯ ರೀಡಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ ಭಾಗವತಮ್ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಕ್ಯಾಂಟರ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ವ್ ಟು ಅವರ್ ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ಗೋಸ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಟು ಗಾಡ್ ಹೆಡ್ ಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ತ್ರೀ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಲೇಷನ್ ಪ್ರಪೋರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಬೈ ಹಿಸ್ ದಿವೈನ್ ಗ್ರೇಸ್ ಐ ಸಿ ಭಕ್ತಿ ವೇದಾಂತ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಪ್ರಭುಪಾದ್ Четвёртый песен, 12 глава, Дрова Махраджа се завършва с Бога, текст 23 и 24, превод и коментар от Него Божествено, сега чаем на Дума и Бакта Веданта Сраната Прабхупада. Сунанда нанда вач учату, Сунанда нанда яв учату, Бобо раджан субхадранте, Бобо раджан субхадранте, Vacham no vahitak shrinu, Vacham no vahitak shrinu, Yak pancha varshas tapasa, Yak pancha varshas tapasa, Bhavan devam ati tripat, Bhavan devam ati tripat, Sunanda nanda var uchatu, Uchatu, Sunanda nanda uchatu, ಭೋ ರಾಜನ್ ಸುಭದ್ರಂತೆ ಬಾಚಂ ನೋ ವಹಿತಕ್ಷಿಣು ಯಕ್ಷವರ್ಷಸ್ಥಪಸ ಭವಾನ್ ದೇವಮತಿ ಪ್ರೀತ ಸುನಂದ ನಂದಚ್ಚು ಭೋಜನ್ ಸುಭದ್ರಂತೆ ವಾಚಂ ನೋ ವಹಿತಕ್ಷಿಣು ಯ ಪಂಚವರ್ಷಸ್ತಪಸ ಭವಾನ್ ದೇವಮತಿ ತ್ರಿಪತ್ ಸುನಂದ ನಂದ ಊಚತು ಸುನಂದ ನಂದ ಸೇದ್ ಭೋ ರಾಜನ್ ಓದಿಯ ಕಿಂಗ್ ಸುಭದ್ರಂ ಸುಭದ್ರಂ ಗುಡ್ ಫಾರ್ಚೂನ್ ಅಂಟು ಯು ವಾಚಂ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಅವಹಿತ ಅಟೆಂಟಿವ್ಲಿ ಶ್ರೀನು ಹಿಯರ್ ಪಂಚವರ್ಷ ಫೈವ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಔಟ್ ತಪಸ ಬಾಯಿಟಿ ಭವಾನ್ ಯು ದೇವನ್ ದ ಸುಪ್ರೀಂ ಪರ್ಸನಾಲಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಗಾಡ್ ಹೆಡ್ ಆತಿಪತ್ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ಲಿ ಸ್ಯಾಟಿಸ್ಫೈಡ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಲೇಷನ್ ನಂದ ಅಂಡ್ ಸುನಂದ ದ ಟೂ ಕಾನ್ಫಿಡೆನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಅಸೋಸಿಯೇಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಸೇಡ್ ಡಿಯರ್ ಕಿಂಗ್ ಲೆಟ್ ದ ಬಿ ಆಲ್ ಗುಡ್ ಫಾರ್ಚೂನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಟು
please attentively hear what we shall say. When you were only five years old, mm. you underwent severe austerities and you thereby greatly satisfied the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Nanda Sunanda, Dramata, Vivere in Ispatnici in the Bog Vishnu, Kazaki. Skupi Tsari, the Prabhupada and Dubrat Kyujas, Morati, and Nimatu and Chui Tvako to Shikajan. Kogato Bay, a Dvapet Buddhist, Tis Pudloji and Sororo Terchene, and Novo Zarado, or Hovanta, Bojestan and Vishnus. Purport. What was possible for Druva Maharaj is possible for anyone. Any five-year-old child can be trained and within a very short time his life will become successful by realization of Krishna consciousness. Unfortunately, this training is lacking all over the world. It is necessary for the leaders of the Krishna Consciousness Movement to start educational institutions in different parts of the world to train children starting at the age of five years. Thus, such children will not become hippies or spoiled children of society. Rather, they can all become devotees of the Lord. The face of the world will then change automatically. So I will not comment on this. We failed miserably. How many children all over the world do we have trained up? We can count them. Anyway, as I said, I will not comment on this. Text 24. Tasyakila jagat dhatur avang devasya sharnginaha parshadaviha sampraptao netung tvam bhagavat padam. We are representatives of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, the creator of the whole universe, who carries in his hand the bow named Sharnga. We have been specifically deputed, deputed to take you to the spiritual world. Ние сме пратеници на Бога, върховната личност, създателя на Вселената, който носи в ръката си ръка Шаранга. Той ни изпрати тук, за да ти отведем в духовния свят. Purport. In Bhagavad Gita, the Lord says that by, simply by knowing his transcendental pastimes, whether within this material world or in the spiritual world, anyone who understands factually who he is, how he appears and how he acts can be immediately fit for transfer to the spiritual world. This principle stated in the Bhagavad Gita operated in the case of Drew, King Druva. Throughout his life he tried to understand the Supreme Personality of Godhead by austerity and penances. Now, the mature result was that Ruva Maharaj became fit to be carried to the spiritual world accompanied by the confidential associates of the Lord. So, this is 
stated in Bhagavad Gita, chapter 4, Prabhupada refers to this verse, number 9. Janma karma chame divyam evang yoveti tatvataha tyaktva deham puna janma naiti mam eti sorjuna. Ikhashu Prabhupada, Stira, Uchtvarta Gora, Bhagavad Gita, text 9. One who knows the transcendental nature of my appearance and activities does not, upon leaving the body, take his birth again in this material world, but attains my eternal abode, O Arjuna. Purport. The Lord's descent from his transcendental abode is already explained in the sixth verse. So the sixth verse says, Ajopisan avyayatma bhutanam ishwaropisan prakritim svam arishtaya sambhavam yatma mayaya Although I am unborn and my transcendental body never deteriorates and although I am the Lord of all living entities, I still appear in every millennium in my original transcendental form. Шести стих се казва, въпреки че съм нероден и трансценталното ми тяло е пленно, и въпреки че съм Бог на всички живи същества, чрез моята вътрешна енергия аз се появявам на всяка епоха в изначалната си трансцентална форма. So, this, of course, one should simply understand by accepting it um, that the Lord is completely transcendental. And as we mentioned several times, everything comes from him, so everything is spiritual actually. And the material nature, what we call material nature, is covered by ignorance, therefore it's called material, from our point of view. But actually it's spiritual in the sense it comes from the Lord, so how can it be any different than his own transcendental qualities? And even us who have accepted material bodies, the body can be transformed into spiritual, spiritualized by engaging it 100% in devotional service. So basically that was the situation of Dhruva Maharaj. He became completely detached from the material world and uh, was completely spiritualized. And thus he was qualified to be picked up by the messengers, uh, the Vishnu Dutas, and they took him back home, back to Godhead. And again, and it's now Several times, Prabhupada said, "Any this is what is possible for Dhruva Maharaj. Anybody can do this." So, if this is possible for ordinary living entities, then when the Lord appears in the material world, He does not accept the material body because He is the controller. Okay. And later on he will say that those who are fools, they think he appears as a human being. They don't understand that my transcendental nature. So therefore, he says in this verse number 9, Janma karma chame divyam. Uh, the janma, the birth, and karma, whatever I do, 
it's not ordinary, it's divyam, it's transcendental. So therefore, somebody, Evangyoveti Tattvataha, somebody who knows this in truth, then the result is Chakvadeyam Puna Janma Naiti. He will not accept again a material body. So he said, Prabhupada continues, he says, so this has been explained. Uh, Krishna himself said, I, Atma Mayaya, I appear in my own transcendental form, not in any material form. So, one who can understand the truth of the appearance of the personality of God and is already liberated from material bondage and therefore he returns to the kingdom of God immediately after quitting this present material body. Now, if we follow Dhruva Maharaj, it's very easy. But ordinarily, such liberation of the living entity from material bondage is not at all easy. <laughs> That means anybody who is not a devotee. Uh, the impersonalists and the yogis attain liberation only after much trouble in many, many births. Even then, the liberation they achieve, merging into the impersonal Brahma Jyoti of the Lord, is only partial. And there's the risk of returning to this material world. So it doesn't mention even the karmis. Karmis who are ordinary fruitive workers, they don't even strive for liberation. They stay in the material world. <coughs> so the jnanis and the yogis, they try, they think they become liberated, but it's not so easy. <coughs> Only if one surrenders to Krishna, then it is possible, otherwise it is not possible. <coughs> so then, But the devotee, simply by understanding the transcendental nature of the body and activities of the Lord, attains the abode of the Lord after ending this body and does not run the risk of returning to this material world. So this sounds actually very easy. <laughs> right. It is. Uh, Prabhupada often quotes this verse by telling, just by understanding the, the appearance and activities of the Lord, that is practically sufficient. Huh? <laughs> this shouldn't happen. I told you, put it into flight mode. Yeah, how to do, what to do. Answer the call. Uh, anyway, um, so yes, it seems very easy. <coughs> so, yeah. Simply by understanding the transcendental nature of the body and activities of the Lord. That's the that's all that's apparently necessary. Yes. So then one attains the abode and does not run the risk of coming back to this world. 
и тогава човек се връща в неговото обител и не се подлага на риска да се върне отново в този материален свят. In the Brahma Samhita 5.33 it is stated that the Lord has many, many forms and incarnations. В Брама Самхита се казва, че Бога има много, много инкарнации. This is a very important verse, Advaita Machuta Manari Ananta Rupam, which apparently is very contradictory. There's Advaita, which the Mayavadis like, it's only one. Truth. Supreme truth is Advaita, only not two, only one. But although it's only one, and then uh, an- Ananda Rupam has unlimited forms, not just two or three, unlimited. <coughs> Но въпреки, че един за него се казва, че той е анантерупам, има безкрайно много форми. Не две, не две, не три, безкрайно. And therefore, Prabhupada says here, although there are many transcendental forms of the Lord, there are still one and the same supreme personality of Godhead. И въпреки обаче, че те са много, много такива форми, той си остава същата върховна божествена личност. So one has to understand this fact with conviction. Which is not so difficult. Why not? The Lord can do whatever he is. If you say it's he is omnipotent, as we say, all powerful, the supreme being. So why can't he be one and many at the same time? Което е лесно да се разбере. Защо Бога, защо Бога да, да не може да направи? Той може да направи всичко, което си пожелая. Може да се разпростре в колкото си иска форми и в същото време да се един. Материално yeah. това не е possible. Материално това не е възможно. Even yogis who we hear that can have a perfection where you can have eight forms. Дори йогите, които са постигнали съвършенство, знаем, че те могат да се But these are all the same. They are like you have one pro- television program and you have eight other television screens and everything is on the screen is the same as on the original. <coughs> They cannot <coughs> act independently in different ways. Една и съща програма. Но не можеш да имаш, измежду тях, не можеш да имаш разнообразие. So sometimes in shops where they sell TVs, you may see this. They have so many and they're all on the same thing going on. Just different qualities <laughs> in that case. But in the case of the yogi, it's one person. It's the individual. He cannot become two or three or four independently act. You know, no, he can, it's, he can just multiply one reality let's say into eight както понякога в магазините за телевизори можем да видим кога те продават много телевизори и се излъчва една и едно и също нещо по всички телевизори но просто те различни телевизори с различно качество и по същия начин един йоги не може да да прояви друга идентичност от себе си той може да се увеличи до 8 форми но не може да 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 So, so Krishna, the Supreme Lord, is not limited like this. Uh, he can expand in Ananta Rupa and unlimited forms and they're all different and they're all active in different ways independently. Still there's the same Supreme Personality of God. Той може да се прояви в колкото си иска много форми, да остане един и, и, и въпреки това той да е върховната божествена личност. Uh, so like in, in, in Dvaraka, Krishna, he accepted 16,108 queens. В Дварака Кришна приел 16,108 царици. And they all had their own palace. И всяка една от тях си имала свой палат which already is very difficult for any man <laughs> if he has just even for one wife to provide one palace is a big challenge. 
което не е възможно за обикновена човешка същество, за един, а, чук, за един мъж, да дори един пъл да направи за своята жена, това е голямо предизвикателство. So, I mean, in the past there were some kings and big emperors. They could have, they did have more than one palace in different parts, one for hunting, one for this, one for... So they could have three, four, whatever, palaces. But definitely we have never heard of anybody having 16,108 palaces and then 16,108 queens also. Some oriental sheikhs, they may have even a hundred wives or eh, some, very few, but you know, it's possible they may have a harem with 100, 150. We never heard more than that. We never heard of a thousand, even if it's a thousand, what is it? И може би някои ориенталски шейхове могат да имат сто стотина съпруги, царици а, или примерно 150 имат такива хора с различни хареми, които могат да имат 150, но дори хиляда да имат какво, какво е хиляда. And even if you have, let's say, a hundred wives, how are you gonna satisfy all of them. <coughs> I mean, you cannot expand in a hundred forms, so you have to go one by one. <laughs> so that becomes a challenge, even if you, let's say, go to one each day, each night, <coughs> that means they have to wait for three months or more until you come back the next time. Though they will not be very happy about that. So Krishna <laughs> Yes, Krishna doesn't have that problem. He just expands in different persons in and there's the same time it's the same person but in different forms and act, act him independently and being with everybody at the same time. Той просто експандира своята форма в личност, която може да действа независимо от всички останали личности по едно и също време. So Narada Muni, when he visited Dwarka, he was astonished to see he went to, from one palace to the next. And in each palace he saw the Lord acting in a different way. In one he was playing with his children, one he was taking prasadam, in another one he was in the garden with his so everything was different and it's still the same. И когато Нарада Муни отишъл да посети тези палати в Дварака, той бил напълно очуден, много очуден, защото в единия палат Кришна правил пресадам, в другия си играл с децата, но в следващия той се разхождал в в градината и всичко това ставало по едно и също време. So, although there are many transcendental forms of the Lord, there is still one and the same supreme personality of Godhead. <coughs> so one has to understand this fact with conviction, although it is incomprehensible to mundane scholars and empiric philosophers. As stated in the Vedas, Purusha Bodhini Upanishad, Eko Devo Nitya Lilanuran Rukto, Bhakta Vyapi Hridayantaratma, 
the one supreme personality of God that is eternally engaged in many, many transcendental forms in relationships with his unalloyed devotees. Овейте Пуруша Бухина Упанишат се казва Върховната Божествена Личност се безбройните си трансцендентални форми е в вечни взаимоотношения със своите чисти преданодайни. So this Vedic version is confirmed in this verse of the Gita personally by the Lord. Това ведическо твърдение е подкрепено лично от Бога от седмия стих на Гита. He who accepts this truth on the strength of the authority of the Vedas and of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, who does not waste his time in philosophical speculations, attains the highest perfectional stage of liberation. Simply by accepting this truth on faith, one can without a doubt attain liberation. The Vedic version Tatvam Asi is actually applied in this case. Anyone who understands Lord Krishna to be the supreme or who says unto the Lord, you are the same Supreme Brahman, the personality of Godhead, is certainly liberated instantly, and consequently his entrance into the transcendental association of the Lord is guaranteed. So, Dhruva Maharaj, he was in that position. So, he became qualified to enter into the transcendental association of the Lord. And what was possible for Dhruva Maharaj is possible for anyone. Uh, it's a matter of training. Uh, Prabhupada talks about training. Then within a very short time, then one life, one's life can become successful. So therefore, many times Prabhupada asks, what is the difficulty? So, what is the difficulty? <laughs> the old age is not a difficulty. Prahlad Maharaj says, no, if, even if you're five years old or you're 50 or 500, it doesn't matter. You can still become Krishna conscious. <laughs> no, Prahlad Maharaj. Yes. That's okay. So just imagine if you're a yogi and you're 500 years old, how many habits you have. <laughs> there are that is mentioned, there are some that are 700 years old. But, you know, it's, so it's possible even for them, although it's difficult in one sense, because they have so many habits of meditation. So, but it's not impossible. <laughs> yeah, therefore, you heard it's not at all easy for these type of people, jnanis and yogis. But for you no, know, we try to become a devotee. When you're not in the impersonal category, so it's easier. Yeah. So we try our best. And if necessary, <coughs> then you take birth again, and then from five years old you are trained next time. 
И а, да, да, най-добро да от себе си, за да постигнем успеха. И дори да не го, да го постигнем обаче, а, в следващия живот ще ни се даде възможност още от 5 годишна възраст да се обучим и да, да постигнем успех. Патон, think like that. Не да си мислиш по този начин. This is not a good plan. Този план не е много добър. No. The plan is that whatever li- time you have left in this body, although it may not be so fresh like five years, but better late than never. Мислям по този начин, че въпреки, че тялото ти вече може да не е толкова младо, като толкова свежо, като пет годишното тяло, колкото време ти е останало, трябва да го посветим на предано служение. Защо? Защото е по-добре късно, отколкото никога. It's definitely possible without any doubt. Huh? Но със сигурност е възможно без, без да се съмняваме в това. Yes, of course it's very good if one can be trained from five years old. Разбира се, много е добре, ако човек бъде обучен още от 5 годишен. But, you know, if it's 50, 55, 70, 90, 90, whenever it's the time you understand the urgency of Krishna consciousness, just do it. And then it's up to the Lord. Но дори да е на 50, на 60, на 70 години, а, без значение на колко години, когато е разбрал важността от това, той да се отдаде на Бога, просто трябва да го направи. Аз сега съм на 5, върш 50. Аз съм на 5 години, плюс 50. So, forget about the 50. <laughs> сега забрави за 50-те години и бъди на 5. Cross it off the, the list, you know, so that's, that's past, <laughs> it's bridge, uh, water under the bridge, it's gone, okay. forget about it. <laughs> so you may have easily 20 more years, easily, maybe 30. Много лесно можеш да живееш още 20 години. Даже, даже може и още 30. Just keep yourself, you know, healthy, whatever is possible. You know, the body is maybe a little bit worn out, but, you know, it can be recuperated even, take a lot of prasadam, exercise with the cows, then, you know, another 20, 30 years, and it's definitely more than enough to become Krishna conscious. Можеш да живееш още 20-30 години, като внимаваш за тялото ти <coughs> и вече малко си го поизтърмозвам, но това не е проблем. А ако приемаш повече пресада и правиш упражнения, като се грижиш за кравите, без никакъв проблем, можеш да живееш още 20-30 години, а, които ще са напълно достатъчни, за да, да постигнеш успех в кришно съзнание. Yeah. So, you know, fresh air. A lot of milk and cheese and <laughs> butter and <laughs> ghee and <laughs> fresh vegetables. So what you know then what's the problem? <laughs> no. You don't smoke, you don't drink, you don't do any of these activities that really destroy the body. So there's possible that it will last for some time. <laughs> и не се ангажираш в тези дейности и греховни, които а, изтормозват тялото, тогава е напълно възможно това да се случи. Yeah. I mean, you know, some of these famous people, like now just a few, last week, a few days ago, this famous Argentinian football star, Maradona, died at 60. Yes, heart attack. <coughs> <coughs> Известна футболна звезда Марадона, той съвсем скоро напусна тялото, умря на 60 години. So, he had a double life. There was Diego and there was Maradona. Имаше двоен живот. Единият му беше Диего, а другият му беше Марадона. Марадона was known, he was on the field, he became world famous and then there was the, you know, Diego, the normal guy. Марадона е световната звезда футболна, които всички го познаваха, а Диего си обикновения човек. But when he was 25, when he became famous, or a little earlier even, I don't know exactly, but then a lot of money came. 
когато е бил млад, звезда, на 25 много пари е получил. And he was a simple guy from, you know, even not born in a high class family in Buenos Aires, actually in poverty. А той е бил обикновено момче, който не е живял в издигнато семейство, а всъщност той на практика е бил в много дълбока бедност живял. But wherever money is, that's Kali Yuga. Kali and his friends are not far away. Но където са парите, там е Kali Yuga. Kali и неговите приятели не са далеч един от друг. So he then enjoyed nightlife very intensely. Тогава той започна да се наслаждава на нощния живот много интензивно. In Italy with cocaine and women and and then for weeks ends he was completely in that life and then when Wednesday came he started to train and become clean uh, to to go on the f- football field on Friday or Saturday and then on Sunday Monday Tuesday again so he had a double life и двойния му живот беше следния от понеделник до сряда през цялото време той беше с жени и с наркотици кокаин а в сряда той спираше, няколко дена се подготвяше за съботния и за петъчния матч и след това отново започваше също, също нещо. So intense sense Покитари, gratification Покитари. wears the body out. It becomes like a car. Yeah. You drive all the time with 200, then the motor will just go busted after some time. It will go up in smoke. Интензивното силно наслаждение много, много изтощава тялото. Както примерно, ако кара на колата с 200 км в час, тогава тя с двигател съвсем скоро той изпушва и след това става безполезен. So, by unhealthy lifestyle and very much abusive lifestyle, then you become at 60 or you're ripe for heart attacks and other diseases and just have to leave. Doesn't work anymore. С, 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 с такъв нездравословен начин на живот и с различни лоши навици, а, човек а, на 60 години получава сърдечен удар и не може да, да продължи да живее повече. So, if you take care of it, then there's hope that it will, you know, it's, Krishna, it's an instrument and it actually belongs to Krishna, so we should take care of it and then we can use it to become Krishna conscious. Ако се грижиш добре за тялото, а, можеш този инструмент да и принадлежи на Кришна. Ние сме длъжни да се грижим за него и може, може да доста дълго време да изкарваме. So, you don't take cocaine, you take, you know, върфи. Then... Вместо кокаин, си капа и си върфи. Better choice. Това е определено по-добрия избор. You know, you become happy just by serving the Lord, then your life becomes successful. You don't go down like a person like that. So anyway, 55, you know, even if it's like him, you can have more five years. Even five years is enough. <laughs> But why not you go beyond? I mean, even if you only become 65 years, you still have. That's plenty to become Krishna conscious. So, but maybe 25. So, So, who knows? But we should think only maybe five seconds uh, or five minutes, then uh, one has to be trying it all the time. Но човек трябва да мисли, че му остават още 5 минути или 5 секунди и затова през цялото време трябва да се опитва да плава. Because that definitely we don't know when the time will come. Защото със сигурност не знаем точно кога ще ни дойде времето. Yeah. And times are not so easy. Any, anybody can leave the body at any moment. А времената не са, не са много лесни. Всеки може да напусне във всеки един момент. Uh, no guarantee. Няма никаква гаранция. Ако живее 25 години, ще бъде като пробат. До 60. Ти си, ако живее 25 години, ще бъде като пробат. 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 Ако живее 25 години, ще бъде като пробат
can reach the uh, yes. even mm -hmm. problem. Right. right. So, you know, that's not unusual. You can even live longer. There are many Washington people Poland, now who are in their 90s, you know, ordinary people. Yeah, why, why not? Why not? You know, any, whatever time we have, it's good. You know, we can chant about the Lord, we can hear. So, we take advantage. So, therefore, we should try to live as long as possible. And then we also can try to tell others about Krishna. So, it's good. So, you know, devotees should try to live as long as possible. Because their presence is necessary in the world. There's not many, many. So they, uh, their presence is a blessing for the conditioned souls. Even if you just, as we say, you know, you go outside and chant loudly to the trees and the bees and the birds, they will be benefited. So any day you live, you can benefit so many living entities. So try to live. So it's our duty to try to maintain the body in good condition as far as possible is in our power. But beyond that, of course, we can't. <coughs> You put on the mask, if you still get it, well, you tried your best, no? <laughs> Wash hands and put mask. <laughs> uh, beyond that, and then you don't be foolish. And anyway, you know, you don't go into the danger zone unnecessarily. Those who work in hospitals, they're in a very precarious condition. Everybody knows. Therefore, they're also called heroes. But you don't have to do that. You know, expose yourself to danger unnecessarily, that's not our philosophy. Yes. So, it's common sense. He was saying that uh, he knows the herbs in Bulgaria and he goes sometimes to the mountains and he collects herbs. That's good. And uh, when he uh, he collecting, uh, he chanting, during collecting, he chanting Hare Krishna Mahamant. That's even better. And he asked me, is this like a good practice? Very good practice. Many years, many years now, what do you mean? For many By years, he doing it. So then, yeah, yes, yeah. so you know what to do. <coughs> okay, we stop here. Anything else from your side? There is one more question. Okay. Uh, he's saying, uh, <coughs> I have difficulties, uh, how can uh, we understand, because sometimes somebody can ask, uh, how, how can I understand and explain the, the, the fact that um, when Mahavishnu breathing, everything 
goals into his body. But also we understand that uh, he is in every atom also. How can I explain this to the... You cannot explain. <laughs> 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 but it's not that, you know, he expands. He is not in the atom. He is lying in the causal ocean. Uh, how you know? You know, it's all expansion. It's Krishna. Krishna expands into Balaram. Balaram into Sankarshan. Then Mahasankarshan. Then Narayan, Mahavishnu, Garvodakasha, Kirodakasha, Vishnu. That's Paramatma. So Yeah. So, Mahavishnu is Mahavishnu and Kshirodakashai Vishnu is Kshirodakashai Vishnu. They're the same and not the same, like we heard here. You know, Krishna can have um, unlimited forms, it's, it's the same Supreme Personality of Godhead. Unlimited Vaikuntha planets, and in each planet there is a form of Narayan, has a different name. Even the symbols are maybe in different places in the hands, but still the same person. So ultimately it's all Krishna. <coughs> They're not different from Krishna. There's only, only one. <coughs> We are also monists. There's only one Krishna. There's nothing else. But simultaneously different. So he expands and he expands not only in his plenary forms, also we are expansions. But we are separate and we are different in one sense. We are, I don't have that power, but we have the quality. Anyway, so, you know, it's the simultaneously one and different. If we understand that, just on faith even, that solves all the doubts and problems. Mm -hmm. And it's not so difficult to understand. We always hear the fire, uh, heat and light are energies emanating from the fire. They're not different, but it's a, yes, they're different. Yes, we feel the heat even from a distance. <coughs> <laughs> And what to speak of the sun, you know, the sun is 93 million miles away and still you feel the heat. Sometimes so hot that you will get out of the sun, although it's so far away. And now it's there, but we don't see it. But the light we appreciate, it has become light. We don't need any more artificial light. But the sun is long, far, far away in one place. It doesn't move. And then the light is here. So... Is it different? No, it's not different and it's different. No, heat and light from the sun, they're not different from the sun, but they're different. So how can this be? This is a material example to show it's even possible for a material object. 
дава такъв материален пример, с който светлината и топлината не се излучават от Слънцето, но в същото време са различни. Ако това дори за нещо материално е възможно, какво да говорим за Бога? So, the sun is just an insignificant material object compared to the origin of the sun, who is the Supreme Lord. Слънцето е просто един незначителен материален обект в сравнение с върховния, който е източника на Слънцето. So, if, if the sun can be present everywhere and simultaneously be in one place, definitely Krishna can do that. Ако Слънцето може да е едновременно на, на всякъде и също време да си е на едно място, тогава със сигурност Кришна би трябвало да може и той да го направи това. So, Ма Вишну експанс, Карго така шай, Вишну кшио така шай, Вишну, he remains on the causal ocean still in his expansion as кшио така шай, he goes into every item. И в същия случай с Махавишну, с различни Кришна, той е различни експанси, Махавишну и кшио така шай, Вишну, и чрез кшио така шай, Вишну, той може да влезне във всеки item. So you don't probably and to somebody who has never heard about anything about Krishna consciousness, you're not going to try to explain, you know, that there's somebody lying in some causal ocean and producing universes. So that's not the first thing you explain. If you don't if you don't even understand how can you talk about this? Uh, he's saying uh, they told me that I'm, I'm crazy. That's right. <laughs> of course. <laughs> the first thing one tries to explain is that uh, not, it's, not, it's not only matter what exists, there's something else which is called spirit and which is spiritual and it's from a different nature. Yeah. Unless un- somebody understands to somehow at least something about this, you don't have to explain anything else. <coughs> if you try to say that there's we what we see is all matter we, we all agree material world means matter but there's something beyond matter and somebody says no there's only matter there's nothing else then you don't have just give them prasadam they, 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 how can they understand anything they will understand nothing да кажем, че кажеш на някой. Нещата, които виждаме около нас, всичко е материя. Обаче, освен материята, има и други неща. Но не, не всичко е материя. И той, той ако, ако ти казва, О, това не го приемам, всичко е материя. О, нищо друго няма освен материя. Как той а, може да разбере каквото и да е? Всичко останало, което той раз, а, нали, разбере, то ще е напълно погрешно. Нищо няма да може да разбере. Yeah. So you explain that there is matter on one side, but then there is life and consciousness on the other side. And it's different from matter. Somebody will argue, no, it's just a material combination and transformation. Then that can be a discussion. И а, живота, той е различен от, от материята, той има друга природа. И обаче, ако този човек, който е на среща, той ти каже, не, живота е трансформация просто на, на, на материята. А, нали, това е друго, но той е, е станало, защото е комбинация от материята. И тогава ти може да дискутираш с него. Но трябва да знаеш точно как 
Да, 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 First, you have to be convinced and be able to explain why matter cannot produce life. And then, once that is accepted, okay, there is something else. And now we can try to get into more details. What, what, what na- how is, qualities does it have? What is the nature of that something spiritual? So that's a different class. But we, are, we already many times spoke about it, so anyway. So anyway, so we have a class about expansion. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. So, one example given very short that is also in Brahma Samhita is the candles. So you have a candle and you can light another candle from that candle and another candle and they are all candles with but one is the original candle. So, one is the original candle, means we're talking about the flame. So that flame can expand in hundreds of flames without changing its original aspect and even, uh, how you say, quantity. Uh, it stays the same flame, but it has expanded in a, a, a as long. You can uh, unlimited candles you could light from that flame, and they all have the same flame, but one is the original. So let's say, yes, it's a big flame, and these are the Vishnu Tattvas, but there are so many, a limited, well, how, why not? But that big flame, let's say this size, <laughs> can extend itself into hundreds and thousands and unlimited flames. <coughs> But you can also light a small candle, very tiny one, which has a you know two three millimeter flame. Like you have a big fire, sometimes you depending how much you put there, the fire can be two three meters high. So 
And sometimes you see sparks flying from the fire, right? So these sparks have the same burning quality than the fire. They are fire. Yeah. A spark f- falls on your cloth, it will burn and you may have a hole. So, but you know, the spark is not the fire. So Krishna can expand also into very small sparks, which we are. You know, you think when you try to understand expansion, it's fire and sparks. So you are a spark, you're not the fire. So if you understand that difference, that's good. When you say, I'm the fire, we have a problem. <laughs> yes, so the Mayavari thinks, I'm a, okay, I'm, now I'm a spark, but if I go back into the fire, I'll be the fire. There's no difference between me and him. So we are one. <laughs> yes. They think it's just an appearance. I only appear to be a spark. Actually, I'm the fire. <laughs> But Krishna says, no, my Mavangsha Jiva Lokjiva Sanatana, eternally you are a spark. Don't try to be me. Krishna says, no, me, Yes, you, I'm eternally I and you are eternally you. We are different. And he is also you, him. So we are, you know, uh, uh, he says in Bhagavad Gita. So, you know, I and you and all these kings, we are, have always been and we will you know, we'll never cease to be. Mm-hmm. You and me and we all, we have been existing in the past, we are existing now, we'll, in the future. So, and, I, but I'm the source, later on, so everything comes from me, so that's expansion. И той казва, ние винаги ще продължим да съществуваме в били сме в миналото, настоящето и в бъдещето също ще продължим да съществуваме. И това е показва за наличието на различни експанзии. Те се различават от Имаш така цялостни експанзии и и отделени. Yeah. Think of the candle, then it's clear, you know. It's big candle, small candle, and it is an original. You are a tiny candle, and there's big candles. <laughs> Mahavishnu is the Maha candle. <laughs> and, and you're a tiny, tiny, almost invisible, but it's there. There's a little light somewhere, like a, like a glow worm, you know. All right, Srila Prabhupada ki jai, Nantra Rashi, Mad Bhagavatam ki jai, Sisi Narikai Gaurava.